Shifting focus now to some breaking news that's coming in and India's moonwalk is underway. Remember, for 14 days, Pragyan and Vikram, the lander and the rover, are going to be on the moon and they're going to be feeding data back here on Earth to the ISRO control room in Bengaluru. And ISRO is giving out update by update every single time. We've just had another tweet coming to the fore from ISRO about the Chandrayaan 3's mission to objectives which have now been achieved. Demonstration of a safe and soft landing on the lunar surface is accomplished. Demonstration of the rover roving on the moon is accomplished as well. Conducting in situ scientific experiments is currently underway and all payloads are performing normally. That's the latest update coming to the fore from ISRO. The latest video that was tweeted out by ISRO just a short while ago as well is on your screens where you see Pragyan roving around the landing site which is now named Shiv Shakti by the Prime Minister just this morning. Around that site, this video coming to the fore, all experiments being conducted as planned, all is well and all is on track, is the confirmation that has come to the fore from ISRO. Now, the Prime Minister today landed uh, from Greece and he went straight to Bengaluru where he wanted to meet and laud the achievement of ISRO scientists. He returned from his whirlwind tour and the first stop was, of course, Bengaluru. He returned to the national capital just after that and addressed a public gathering. He said that India has now gained respect worldwide and all of it is because of the feat that ISRO scientists had achieved with the soft landing that uh, they successfully conducted on the south side of the lunar surface. The Prime Minister also laid emphasis over focus on science and technology in national education. He said that the country would be observing August 23rd as a National Space Day. He also apologised for the inconvenience ahead of the upcoming G20 summit in Bengaluru. He addressed the scientists at the ISRO Command Centre. Several big announcements coming to the fore, not just of uh, the 23rd of August being named the National Space Day, but also the fact that the landing spots, both of Chandrayaan 2 and Chandrayaan 3, have now been renamed. One is going to be called uh, Tiranga, which is the site of Chandrayaan 2. Chandrayaan 3, where now the Vikram lander is currently situated, that is going to be called Shiv Shakti. Vikram's landing point and the footprints are going to be called the Tiranga point. Congratulating the scientists, the Prime Minister said that India has reached where no one has before and the world recognises the monumental effort that these scientists have put for years together. India is on the moon. We have our national pride placed on the moon. हम वहाँ पहुँचे जहाँ कोई नहीं पहुँचा था, जिस स्थान पर चंद्रयान थ्री का मून लैंडर उतरा है। अब उस पॉइंट को अब उस पॉइंट को शिव शक्ति के नाम से जाना जाएगा 23 अगस्त को जब भारत ने चंद्रमा पर तिरंगा फहराया उस दिन को अब हिंदुस्तान नेशनल स्पेस डे के रूप में मनाया जाएगा जब आप वायु आन से उड़े तो आप सीधे बंगलुरु गए सुबह 6 बजे और वहां पहुंच करके आपने हमारे साइंटिस्ट हमारे वैज्ञानिक इसरो के साइंटिस्ट जिन्होंने जी जान मेहनत करके भारत को ये कीर्तिमान स्थापित करने का कार्य किया है, उनकी पीठ थपथपाने में, उनको प्रोत्साहन देने में कोई कसर नहीं छोड़ी और सीधे आप बंगलुरु गए सुबह 6 बजे आपका वहाँ पर लैंडिंग हुई है। दुनिया के नजरों में भारत के साइंटिस्ट, भारत का अनुसंधान, भारत का कार्य इसको दुनिया ने सराहा है।